Hey guys, we are back on the YouTube grind. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new to my channel, I am G Daniels Fitness, also known as Georgia. I have recorded so many YouTube videos and just hated them and not posted them. And I apologize for that. I've just been in a mood. But we are back and I am not letting myself not post this. So we're keeping it simple. I have a rest day. We're going to do what I eat in a day. I ate pretty intuitively while traveling the last, it was Thursday through Tuesday. So Thursday through Monday. So it was like five days. I just ate intuitively. I was with family, um, visited my boyfriend, had a last hurrah with my sister before she went off to college that she leaves tomorrow. So it was a lot. And a lot of stuff was going on, uh, and I wanted to be able for the first time to enjoy eating on a family vacation because it has actually been probably like two years since I just ate whatever I wanted on a family vacation because I'm always on prep in the summer. <laughs> so um, this is what off-season is for. Off-season is for being able to, you know, enjoy life a little bit more while also reaching your goals and being able to have that social aspect back and like enjoy food with your family and so I was pretty easy on myself um, and just kind of let myself eat what I wanted to eat. And I ate pretty healthy, I will say. Uh, I did eat some fire food, though, and I probably did not hit my protein any of the days. I tried my best, but we're back on it today. It is a rest day. Um, my macros are still the same. It's My macros have been the same the last, like, four weeks because my body has been, just been, like, all over the place. Um, I got my period back as well as I've been traveling. It's just, like, nothing has been... My body is not balanced out quite yet. So I'm going to get a blood test soon. And I might post that on here as well. Um, but just seeing how my health is going. Because that's really what off-season for is for. Is as we gain weight to get healthy again. But um, mentally, it was rough in the beginning to eat off. And it was a little stressful. Uh, but as the couple days went on, I do think it helped for me to get out of that like food focusedness. Um, and... I'm used to having one meal off, but having a whole couple days off was a lot. And if you feel this way as well, this is your reminder. I came back home and I am the same weight as when I left. Sometimes your body just needs fuel and it needs to eat. And I know there's a balance. And I, when you're not a prep for a show, the goal is to be healthy and to enjoy life a little bit more. And so having you know, a meal, one meal off is not going to do anything because I know kind of before, like right when I finished my show, I was just really stressed out about off meals. And just kind of what I've learned is really they're just not, it's just, it's just so minuscule difference in how your body reacts to it. Um, then I don't know if that makes sense, but one meal is not going to make a big difference. Um, so if you have trouble, I've had a couple messages. If you're having trouble, like having an off meal, I am with you. Um, it took some time for me to get used to it. And mainly because my body was bloating so much that I just hated how I felt after one meal off. Um, and so it took some getting used to. But honestly, now it makes me mentally also feel so much better to be able to actually like, enjoy food and be around family. And honestly... I don't know if y'all been keeping tabs on the Instagram, but I have been pretty confident in my body. And I also feel like myself again. During prep, I just was just like not there. You become like almost a shell of yourself. And I feel like myself again. And I it's been amazing. So um, eat the food that your body needs to be fueled. And take a meal off every once in a while. Because, you know, life is so long and your goals are supposed to be lifelong um and so don't beat your beat yourself up about like one meal off but um hopefully that made sense i am gonna walk you through all my meals for today and yeah it's just a it's a, a rest day so let's eat okay so i religiously eat egg whites for breakfast but depending on what i'm craving depends on like what i make pinterest has been my best freaking friend i was craving sweet potatoes and i wanted to use them before they went bad so i steamed sweet potatoes and then i looked up sweet potatoes and egg recipe and they look good so i decided to make like a sausage and egg white hash that i'm gonna put on top of my sweet potato i kind of wish i had like a little mini skillet and i could put it in this in the oven but i don't have a skillet so that I might be getting that on Amazon soon, but I want to show you what this looks like because she looks pretty good. The sweet potatoes, we're using chicken sausage and then the egg whites. We're cooking the eggs. 
the way in which this is literally, I know it's a small plate, but this is literally 439 calories. I'm going to tell you the macros. Um, and 40 grams of protein. Oh my God. We like that. We like that. It doesn't look that cute though. So I might get a skillet, but it tastes good. I can sweet potato. So I got some coffee and brought it back home and I just read for a little bit. I've been trying to get my mom's dog kind of used to coming with me to coffee shops because a lot of the coffee shops I go to are dog friendly and it would nice it would be nice to like bring one of them with me. But um, we're back home. We're about to have a snack. I'll show you what that is in a second. Here it is. We have two Dan and Greek yogurts I'm doing the cherry and then I put 100 grams of frozen strawberries with cinnamon. I think it said frozen strawberries. It's frozen blueberries. It's so good though. Um, it's kind of my like snack. I don't know if this is really a meal, but this is my little snack while I um, get some work done. Okay, so me and my mom just drove to Trader Joe's. I had one of these one bar. This is the plant-based churro one. It's pretty good. Uh, it's less calories than the normal protein bar and a little bit less protein, but it tastes really good. Um, me and my mom went to Trader Joe's and I needed to grab some groceries. So we're gonna see what we get inside here. <laughs> I've never been to this Trader Joe's actually. I've only been in Charlottesville. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna get a plant, but yeah, look, these Monsteros. I know. You can tell it's been a while since we've been at Trader Joe's. We drove like 30 minutes. It used to be like five minutes from me when I lived in Charlottesville, so, but I'm ecstatic. I miss buying flowers, but I don't know. I'm gonna get a plant instead. I'm very excited about it. Very cute. Okay. okay, we were walking down the aisle and they have dolma, which is something Parsis family makes. It's like Persian. I don't know. Well, I have to play, I don't know, but their family makes it. And it's in a can though. So it's basically like grape leaves wrapping. Yeah. What did you say? Middle Eastern. I'm oh yeah, Middle Eastern. Um, so a grape leaves wrapping like quinoa or like rice, and I'm so excited about this. Um, but we're kind of stocking right now. We got a lot of things so far. I've been on my like recipe grind, and I've been like looking on Pinterest of like fun little things, but. I don't know. I'm not trying anything necessarily new. I'll do a grocery haul probably when we get back, but because I think we're about to leave. But I got a lot of stuff. I just like the frozen vegetables here. So my mom is obsessing over the cheeses. We are big, big cheese girls. God tier. There is something about just rainy day shopping. I am completely out of sugar-free syrups, which I make that the reason why I've been buying so much coffee and make an excuse for it, I guess. Anyways, we're going to go get some sugar-free syrup from over here by the TJ Maxx. If you want cheap sugar-free syrups, this is where you go. Uh, I'm gonna see what flavors they have. I tend to really like just like vanilla and mocha and there was a brown sugar cinnamon one I had one time, but I'm gonna see what they have in here. I'm not going to bring you in because it is pouring down raining, but I'll show you and get it in a sec. Okay, so I got a ton of stuff in the grocery store. I get a little excited when I go to Trader Joe's and I kind of just browse Pinterest and think of fun little recipes. So I wanted to do a quick little haul of everything I got from Trader Joe's. Okay, here is everything we got from Trader Joe's. We have all of our carb sources over here. So we have potatoes. I got, I don't even know if this is considered carb, but apparently it's some type of root they can use tacos for. Beans, I don't often do beans, rice. And then for protein, I got some pre-cooked chicken just because this is really good and the macros are good. Normal chicken and then plain Greek yogurt. I love this with rice and chicken and just mixing plain Greek yogurt into there. 
Um, and then for fats, I got some crumbled feta because I think that would be so good on a taco. Avocado, uh, dark chocolate. This is my favorite dark chocolate. Um, it's still 85% dark chocolate, but it has like little pieces of like almonds and stuff in there. It's just so good. Um, but besides that, for veggies, I got frozen corn, frozen peas. I got cilantro, spinach, um, pineapple, bananas, <laughs> blueberries, red onion. They also, so I like to sit in the grocery store. It's Middle Eastern, but they have dolma in a can. And I'm going to try this in a second when I show you my dinner because it just looks so good. But yeah, let's eat. Okay, so I also got some sugar-free syrup for TJ Maxx. So I didn't have many, but... I got a vanilla bean pumpkin and a brown sugar cinnamon. Very excited. I'm going to try the quinoa one. Um, I'm going to have a serving, which is a three of them. So hopefully it's good. They're stuffed in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to try this. We're going to eat them cold. salt. They're decent. They're definitely not good as, as good as Parks' family's one, but it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So it's got quinoa in it. Yes, it's the quinoa one. And it's wrapped in grape leaves. Oh, yeah, if you don't know what it is. Mmm. <laughs> it's pretty good. I like it. She's never had it before, so she's less judgmental mm. about it. But, mm. so three of them is a serving, so we're just going to eat a serving of them. It's time. really good. And I... You have to have his mom's. Mmm. That is delicious, but I, I think I would probably prefer them warmed up. Personally. They're pretty good. Okay, this is what we're having next for dinner. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. I've been on a pineapple kick, so I... Got inspired. I used my last two wraps. It's, I used this one. It's extreme wellness tomato basil wraps. And then I put four ounces of chicken in both of them. Well, two in each. And then I put a couple pieces of pineapple, crumbled feta, and cilantro. We're going to try it together, actually, because I have never made something like this. Okay, let's try it. I feel like no matter what, I'm going to love it. I love, I love everything that's in this. That is way better than I thought it was going to be. Bruh. Okay. Okay, so last meal of the day. We're having some green beans with some... This is the pre-made chicken from Trader Joe's. I was inspired today, obviously, like you saw from the grocery store. So I got the pre-made chicken. It's four ounces. I have some non-fat Greek yogurt, uh, unflavored. And then I'm finishing off my fat with some dark chocolate. And this is the last meal of today. Okay, so honestly, sorry it's a little dark. I am going to bed. But food kind of flopped today. I will say like the last week, now that we've been more than a month post-show, my food focus has been very, it's been very different. Like haven't as been, been as much food focus, but I do enjoy making fun foods. So I don't know. Going to the grocery store and making fun recipes have just been like, I've had a lot of serotonin doing that lately. Um, so if you want to see more videos of just like my go-to high protein snacks slash meals, let me know. But on that, person. Thanks you guys for watching the video. Like and subscribe. See you later.